Hello everyone! This is our second solved problem para sa differential equation ng linear coefficients in two variables. We have to obtain the general solution for our DE, x minus 2y plus 3dx plus 4x plus y plus 3dy is equal to 0. Kung mapansin nyo, yung DE natin is already in the form ng linear coefficients in two variables. Kasi meron tayong values ng x, y, and then yung constants. Yung coefficients is 1, negative 2, and 3. And then this is our m, kasama siya ni dx. And then yung n natin, ang coefficients are 4, 1, and positive 3, kasama siya ni dy. So we can proceed directly dun sa ating susunod na step. Yung susunod na step natin is, we have our linear equations, etong dalawa, our m, and then our n. Let this be the equation 1, and then eto naman ang ating equation 2. For our next step, kailangan natin kunin yung intersection, yung h at k. Para magawa yun, kailangan natin kunin yung values ng x and y, nitong dalawang equations na to. Applying substitution, kunin natin si equation 1. So we have our x minus 2y plus 3 is equal to 0. Solving for the value of x, lipat lang natin yung iba sa kabila. So this becomes x is equal to positive 2y, positive magiging negative, so this is minus 3. Then, meron na tayong value ng x. Let us proceed with our equation 2. For our second equation, 4x plus y plus 3 is equal to 0. substitute natin yung value ng x natin, which is 2y minus 3, dito. Doing that, so this becomes 4 times 2y minus 3, and then retain si plus y plus 3 is equal to 0. Then we simplify, 4 times 2y is 8y, 4 times negative 3 is negative 12, and then y plus 3. Then we add 8y plus y, this becomes 9y. Ito naman is negative 12 plus 3 is negative 9. Pag nilipat sa kabila, that is positive 9. Multiplying both sides of our equation by 1 over 9, our y is equal to positive 1. Ngayon, na meron na tayong value ng y, so ibalik natin siya dito. Substitute natin, we have our x is equal to 2. Ang y natin is 1, kaya siya ay naging 2 times 1 minus 3. 2 times 1 is 2 minus 3, that is equal to negative 1. We have our x is equal to negative 1, y is equal to 1. This is our h, this is our k. So our h, k is equal to negative 1 and positive 1. Now we can proceed sa ating pangatlong step kasi meron na tayong value ng h at k. So we have our h and k, we let x be equal to u plus h and y is equal to v plus k. Ang h natin is negative 1, so this becomes u minus 1. Ang k natin is positive 1, so this becomes v plus 1. Getting the derivative, this is equal to dx is equal to du, and then eto naman, dy is equal to dv. Then going back sa ating original equation, eto yung given natin, isubstitute natin lahat ng x magiging u minus 1, lahat ng y magiging v plus 1, dx magiging du, yung dy magiging dv. Substituting, eto yung mangyayari, so x naging u minus 1 minus 2, ang y becomes v plus 1, eto siya, plus 3, and then dx becomes du. For this part, we have our 4x, 4 times u minus 1, plus y, ang y natin is v plus 1, plus 3, dy becomes dv, that is all equal to 0. Then we simplify, kung mapansin nyo, we have our u minus 2v, kaso nga lang, this becomes negative 1, negative 2 times 1, this becomes negative 2. So, negative 1 plus negative 2 is negative 3 plus 3, that is 0. So, ang matitira lang is si u tsaka si negative 2v, kaya eto ay naging u minus 2v times du, hindi pa rin siya nawala. And then, for this part, 4 times u, this is 4u, tapos eto ay 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. Negative 4 plus 1, that is negative 3 plus 3, that is still equal to 0. Kaya, natira na lang ay si 4u plus v, and then multiplied to dv, all equal to 0. Now, we have our homogeneous equation with degree 1. Now, let us pick our m, etong term na to. So, this is a function of u and v. Kaya, ang gagawin natin, we let u be equal to mv. Lahat ng u ay gagawin nating mv, introducing a new variable m. And then, product rule of differentiation, du is equal to mdv plus v dm. Papalitan natin lahat ng u as mv. So, ipapalit natin to dito. And then, dito sa part na to, and then yung du natin, this will become mdv plus vdm. So, doing that, substitution, we have our 
u is mv minus 2v, du becomes mdv plus vdm plus 4 times u is mv for mv plus v all multiplied to dv and equal to 0. Ngayon, simplify natin tong part na to para maging separable na siya. So, doing that, we have our mv minus 2v times mdv plus vdm multiplying mv times mdv. This is equal to m squared v dv. And then, tong pangalawa naman, we have our mv times vdm. This becomes mv squared dm. Negative 2v times mdv. This becomes negative mv dv. Itong part. And then, negative 2v times vdm. Yung v natin ay magiging squared. So, this is negative 2 v squared dm. And then, eto, retained lang naman siya as is. Minultiply lang natin siya sa dv. Then, what can we simplify dun sa terms natin? Kung makapansin nyo, we have our negative 2 mv dv tsaka 4 mv dv. So, etong part na to, this will become positive 2 mv dv. Kaya, si m squared v dv, eto, tong part na to, tapos etong dalawa ay naging positive 2 mv dv. So, eto na trabaho natin. And then, ano pa yung dv na meron tayo? We have v dv. And then, for dm, we have mv squared dm. And then, we have our negative 2v squared dm. So, eto sila. Now, let us factor out the common terms. Sa dv, ano bang meron tayo? Common si v. And then, si dv. So, tatanggalin natin si v at dv. Factoring them out. Ang matitira sa part na to is m squared plus 2m plus 1. And then, times v times dv. And then, for our dm, ang common naman ay si v squared at si dm. So, ang natira ay si m minus 2. This is multiplied to v squared times dm is equal to 0. Now, it is time para gawing separable yung ating differential equation. Since this is dv, dapat ang matira dito ay function of v. So, tatanggalin natin itong m squared plus 2m plus 1. And then, si dm, this should be a function of m strictly. Kaya, tatanggalin natin si v squared. Kaya, imumultiply natin both sides of our equation by 1 all over m squared plus 2m plus 1. And then, times our v squared. Kapag ginawa natin yun, etong part na to mawawala, and then ang matitira ay si v all over v squared. That is 1 over v times dv, kaya eto ay magiging dv over v. And then for our second term, we have our v squared mawawala dito, kaya ang matitira ay si m minus 2 all over m squared plus 2m plus 1 times dm is equal to 0. This is already a function of v dv, function of m dm, kaya ang differential equation natin ay separable na. Pero nga pala, bago natin gawin nyo, let us simplify our denominator. Kasi ang m squared plus 2m plus 1, this is also equal to m plus 1 squared dm. Now, getting the solution, getting the integral of our equation, so this is the integral of dv over v plus the integral of m minus 2 all over m plus 1 squared dm is equal to 0. mag integrate na tayo. etong part na to, madali na siya, ln of v lang to, kaso ito yung tatrabawin natin ng kaunti. So, getting the integral, hindi agad natin to magagawa directly. Kaya we will be applying the concept of partial fractions. Working on m minus 2 all over m plus 1 squared, ito yung partial fraction equivalent niya. So, we have our m minus 2 all over m plus 1 squared, repeated yung nasa denominator, kaya ito ay magiging m plus 1, yung una muna, and then m plus 1 squared. We have to solve for the value of a and b. To do that, let us multiply our equation nung nasa denominator by m plus 1 squared. Kaya this will become m minus 2. And then m plus 1 squared, pag minultiply ko siya dito sa part na to, maiiwan yung isang m plus 1 times a. And then m plus 1 squared divided by m plus 1 squared, that is just 1 times b. Kaya ang natira lang ay si b. Then working on the highest degree pababa, let's start with m sub 1. Dito sa equation na to, meron tayong isa dito na m. So, this is just 1. Tapos, yung sa kabila naman, m, meron tayong isa times a. So, 1 is equal to m. Dito sa b, wala. Kaya, ang value ng a natin is simply equal to 1. Madali lang siya for this part. For our m sub 0, we have our negative 2 here. Yung constant natin, negative 2 is equal to, meron tayong isa dito. So, this is a. And then, dito, meron din tayong isa kay b. So, this is b. Kaso nga lang, ang value ng a natin is already equal to 1. So, substituting that on this equation, we have our negative 2 is equal to 1 plus b. The value of b is equal to negative 3. Pag nilipat natin si 1 dun sa kabila, negative 2 minus 1, 
that is equal to negative 3. Now, pwede na natin i-substitute yung value ng a natin dito sa ating part na to, and then yung b, negative 3, pwede na rin natin i-substitute dito. Ibabalik na natin siya dun sa ating integration process. Substituting that, itong part na to ay pinalit na natin dito. So, eto na siya. So, ang a natin is 1, ang b natin is negative 3. So, this is 1 all over m plus 1 plus b, negative 3 all over m plus 1 squared, all times dm is equal to 0. Then, applying sum and difference rule ng integration, pwede natin silang pag -iwalayin. So, this is dv all over b plus dm, 1 times dm all over m plus 1. And then, this is negative 3. Nilabas na natin yung constant. Ang natira sa loob is dm all over m plus 1 squared is equal to 0. Ito na yung gagawin natin. Ito na yung kukuha na natin ng integral. So, working here, we have our dv over v. Madali lang ito. This will become ln. etong part na to yung nasa baba, direct derivative na niya, yung nasa numerator. And then, eto, yung m plus 1, kaya din natin siyang gawa ng paraan. So, we let n, another variable n, be equal to m plus 1. Tapos, ang derivative ni n is dn, is equal to derivative ni m is dm, constant lang naman ng 1, so this is equal to 0, kaya dn is equal to dm. Palit natin itong mga values na to dito, yung m plus 1 ay magiging n, so this becomes dv all over v, plus dn, ang m plus 1 ay naging n, minus 3, Tapos, ang m plus 1 naging n. So, this is dn kasi yung dm natin is already equal to dn. dn all over, this becomes n squared. So, dn all over n squared, that is also equal to n raised to negative 2, dn is equal to 0. By applying negative exponents dun sa ating denominator. Then, kaya na siyang kuhana ng integral. So, this is ln of v. This becomes ln of n. Tapos, eto naman ay power rule. So, negative 3 times eto, magpa plus 1 lang tayo dito sa ating exponent. So, negative 2 plus 1, that is negative 1. Tapos, yung negative 1 na nasa exponent, maglalagay din tayo sa ating denominator. Kaya, yung negative 3 natin ay naging positive 3 na, and then, nag plus 1 tayo dito, kaya eto ay naging negative 1. And then, yung constant natin ay ginawa ko ulit na ln of c. Then, ibalik na natin yung n in terms of m. So, n is equal to m plus 1, kaya yung ln of v plus yung n natin dito ay naging m plus 1 na. And then, nilipat ko si 3n raised to negative 1 sa kabila. Ang n natin is m plus 1, kaya naging ganito siya. Tapos yung ln of c, nilipat ko, and then, hindi ko binagay yung sign. Positive pa rin siya. Kasi the negative of a constant is still a constant. May gagawin tayo dito may maya, kaya ganito yung setup natin. Tapos, lahat ng operation between our ln ay addition. So, dahil addition lahat sila, we can apply our rule of logarithm na yung addition ng ln, gagawin natin silang products. So, this part becomes ln of lahat ng addition naging multiplication, nasa loob na sila, v times m plus 1 times c. Kaya, eto ay ginawa nating positive para ma-multiply natin dun sa loob. And then, negative 3, inayos lang natin si m plus 1 raised to negative 1, pababa, this becomes negative 3 all over m plus 1. And by the way, tapos na tayo sa integration process. Simplification na lang lahat nung ginagawa natin. Since yung u is equal to mv, kanina, dun sa ating homogeneous equation, ang value ng m is equal to u all over v. So lahat ng m, papalitan natin ng u all over v for this part and then for this part. Doing that, this becomes v times u all over v plus 1 times c natin minus 3, m becomes u all over v plus 1. Then, simplifying further, kung mapansin natin, we have our constant 1 here, tsaka dito. Pwede ko siyang gawing v over v para magkaroon tayo ng same denominator. So, this becomes u plus v all over v. Yung ginawa ko dito, pareho din dito sa kabila. Kasi, multiplication siya, I can perform the operation here. And then, etong nasa kabila, kunin ko yung reciprocal, i-multiply ko sa numerator. Kaya, ang natira ay si ln of u plus v, na wala na yun, times c is equal to, yung nasa denominator nito, getting its reciprocal, mapupunta na siya sa taas, so this becomes negative 3v all over u plus v. Now, na kay u at v na tayo, kailangan na lang natin siyang ibalik kay x and y. But, our x is equal to u minus 1, our y is equal to v plus 1. Kasi, eto yung h natin, eto yung k natin. Remember, Sa linear equation natin kanina, we let x be equal to u plus h, we let y be equal to v plus k. 
Ang h natin is negative 1, ang k natin is positive 1. Solving for the value of u, so ilipat lang natin sa kabila, u is equal to x plus 1, v is equal to y minus 1. Substituting it here dun sa ating equation, this will become ln of u becomes x plus 1, v becomes y minus 1 times c, dito same sa kabila. Yung v natin ay naging y minus 1, yung u plus v ay naging x plus 1 plus y minus 1. So this is 1 minus 1, kaya ang matitira dito ay x plus y, same here ang matitira ay si x plus y. So mawala tong part na to. Tapos, para may angat na natin yung nasa baba, let me multiply x plus y dun sa ating buong equation. Multiplying, that becomes x plus y. Minultiply ko yung nasa denominator sa buong equation times etong natira, ln of x plus y times c is equal to, dahil nawala na to, ang natira ay negative 3 times y minus 1. This is our solution ng ating differential equation.